What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to talk about this team the team I mentioned on my last video that is one of the most annoying teams on Alliance Wars defense and uh, if we should use it so if you like the information on this video make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure you smash that like button okay so let's talk about a little bit about this team and how it works and why it works so well and uh, then we are going to take a look at a few matchups on blitz at 8.3 and then uh, uh, think about if we should use this team or not in alliance wars so this team works so well because we have first two asgardians we have loki and uh, hella and Loki is a very fast character, he applies early on defense down on the enemies, it can go up to two turns and then Hela can spread that defense down to the enemies. Hela is not as fast as Loki but it's still pretty fast. Then we have Taskmaster with the other two mercenary villain allies and when Taskmaster is together with the mercenary villain allies he gets a speed boost based on how many allies he has. Uh, by 10% and he's also pretty fast he has the speed of 120 plus 20% more speed bar so he's going to be very very fast with this number of villain allies he's just a little bit slower than Loki so he'll go between Loki and Hela that will allow him to apply negative effects like the blind and bleed on the enemies that already have defense down because they will have less resistance and so on and then Hela will be able to spread all that through the enemies based on the speed. Based on all this, in most cases, if you don't have a very, very beefy team, your team will get uh, destroyed, uh, disintegrated instantly as soon as Hela does her ultimate. And with the more Helas that we see with the Gear Tier 14 and also Taskmasters with Gear Tier 14, this is going to be worse than worst. Now, in terms of other things we can talk about, we can talk about the Isolates I recommend for this team. As you can see, these two characters with the Skirmisher and then Hela with the Striker, because once again, you want Hela to have as high base damage as possible, so the bleeds that she applies will do the maximum damage that she can do. One interesting thing about this team as well is not only that Loki applies defense down to the enemies, or to one enemy and then Hela can spread that, you also have Merc Lieutenant going before Hela, so that will make sure that Hela has offense up and speed up right after him, once again increasing the, uh, the damage that the bleeds are going to do plus the damage that their ultimate by itself does. So this combination is just massive and it's quite insane, plus you have uh, Merc Riot Guard giving deflects to adjacent allies, now you have you can decide between having uh, Taskmaster here or having Loki here. Loki here is quite annoying, but it really depends on uh, how many red stars you have and uh, which character you have most invest uh, investment on. Something you might want to consider is to invest a little bit more in Loki than I have, Gear Tier 12. You should invest a little bit higher than that in case you have decent red stars on him, because the more HP he has based on the gear and so on the more annoying he becomes because of his passive that uh, puts characters on stealth if uh, Asgardian characters on stealth is if they go below 50% HP so you can see that if you don't die from the first wave of uh, this team you'll have a really really hard time uh, getting through it and uh, with this guy Mark Riot Guard always taunting giving defense up and so on it's going to be extremely annoying to deal with them. So let's take a look at these guys in action. Let's go against some easy matches. Of course, these guys on Alliance Wars defense, they have major buffs to their abilities, at least a little bit. And uh, it's really hard to get through this team, but in my next video or some of the next videos, I will show you a counter that I've been using somewhat consistently against this team but if you guys have some other counters or if you guys already have some counters let me know in the comments below and i will compare to see if we have the same counters or not 
so you always want to pick the guy with the most HP so as you can see Loki applied all that and then we would have Taskmaster going and then, and then Merc Lieutenant going and Merc Riot Guard and only after all those characters go Hela goes and she's able to spread everything so as you can see if they had the extra 20% uh, turn meter they would be going before Hela which is not the case but you can uh, imagine so we would have Taskmaster he gives the offense up to himself so he would not uh, require the offense up for Merc Lieutenant which is huge and uh, then Merc Lieutenant would go give speed up and offense up to everyone including Hela and Hela would use her ultimate and from this point uh, most of the times you just you already win and uh, it it takes very very beefy teams and very very fast teams to get through this team if you are not doing some massive punch down with uh, symbiotes or something like this you might think oh i'm facing Hela so it will not be a problem you have to remember that the merc riot guard will be always taunting because of that extra 20 percent speed that uh, they get early on you can still try to go with uh, i i don't i'm not sure if carnage can go first but even so even if he goes first it's not going to be uh, good enough for you to go through so let's go through this team just one or two more matches and uh, yeah these guys the amount of damage they do is just insane and even that taskmaster doesn't do the most damage because his base damage is quite low when he's on uh, when he's doing damage on a target with the uh, offense down or defense down i mean with defense down and then hella spreading all that uh, it's just insane the results that you have and uh, yeah i've been seeing this team quite a lot i'm not sure if uh, everyone is familiar with this team but that's why we are doing this video so we can uh, get uh, some more people uh, aware of this team and now loki got destroyed that's fine but if it once again if this was on lance wars uh, their entire team would be dead already and you can see right now most uh, of the enemies are dead and uh, now we should be able to clear that up let's go for this guy first and yeah because of the turn rotation the way it works you don't have to worry about the ai or whatever loki will always target the guy with the most damage hopefully that will be also the guy with a decent amount of hp to take all that damage in the face and uh, then uh, hella will be able to spread everything around so let's see we are probably going to do against uh, these guys if you are not fast enough we will probably lose because uh, they have some massive damage going on over there but once again in alliance wars it's different because they get all those extra bonus now thinking if you should use or not this team yes this team is quite amazing on alliance wars that's true but the mercenaries were always pretty good and especially if you are using red guardian and uh, the red guardian version if you are using the normal mercenaries with uh, without red guardian i don't think the team is that great they get destroyed quite easily by some teams uh, that uh, can counter them especially dr octopus i'm not sure if everyone is still using dr octopus on uh, on defense but i have been using him on offense with uh, great results and uh, one of the great results is against this team against the mercenaries uh, i use them and they get destroyed quite easily with the dr octopus and uh, the other situation that we have is that uh, so the team is is good yes that's it but can they give you enough defenses a defensive wins to make you use ella on defense or uh, once again i'm not sure about that in my opinion it would really require a big amount of uh, wins to make this team worth it so and uh, we have to remember that here we have two minions and i always recommend to don't invest too much on minions and uh, taskmaster is very expensive skill character Hela is a very expensive mystic character so we have a few situations here that i would not uh, suggest or recommend right away to invest in these characters 
even at the high red stars, especially those two minions. Merc Lieutenant is okay, is not expensive and it can be somewhat useful on Dark Dimension, but beyond that is not that great. It really depends on RTA is decent, but depends also of the gear and the level and so on. Uh, so yeah, bringing Hela from offense to defense and uh, investing in all these minions and so on, I'm not exactly sure. I don't think this this team can provide enough wins for it to to be worth it. There is a team, uh, and it's the one I'm going to show you that can counter this team very very easily, and uh, it's uh, one of the new teams. And uh, if it's one of the new teams, as you can imagine. And many people will be investing on them and then it destroys the purpose of making this team very strong on defense that's why that's another reason why i think it's not worth it plus hella and loki in my opinion should be on the too many sorcerers team that team can destroy very very easily dr octopus teams uh, you can uh, punch up up to 100k i've been i've uh, done that and uh, you can also use against uh, the Wave 1 Avengers and I have seen quite a lot of them and uh, my 550k too many sorcerers were able to destroy Wave 1 Avengers with 700 power, 700k power so as you can see it's huge punch ups, uh, 150k so is it really worth it just for a few defensive wins um, I'm not sure. In my opinion, no, I don't think so. I would still prefer the version with the Red Guardian and the Killmonger. Not because it's better, but it because I think I lose way too much using these guys once again on defense. And uh, then investing on minions and not having a good place where to use Killmonger or uh, Red Guardian and so on because i think the skill military team is not a good team compared to the for example the shadowlands and so on so and the too many sorcerers so yeah guys that's gonna be the video and once again this or first time but this is my opinion and this is based on my playstyle and how i make how i think it makes sense to use the characters once again this is a very very good team but i'm not sure you guys let me know in the comments below if it's worth it to invest in two minions and remove Hela and Loki from uh, offense where they are able to punch up 150k to make this team that is already good a little bit better. You guys let me know in the comments below and uh, that's going to be the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button like a boss. If you like the information on this video, share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force con content. Once again, if you know any counters for this team, let me know in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned for the next video where I will explain which team I use and how I use against them to counter this team on Alliance War uh, offense. So stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys later.